I'm Jim Shepard, the Director of Preservation of Facilities at Washington National Cathedral. The August 23rd, 2011 earthquake had a significant impact on the cathedral at large, but one of the areas where it had the biggest impact were on the grand pinnacles of our central tower. Our long relationship with Dr. Mark, who has been an advisor to us over a long period of time, uh, brought us the opportunity of, of testing a potential revised design for those pinnacles. We're very excited to have this collaborative opportunity to work with Columbia Universities and the Carleton Testing Labs. I'm Robert Mark, a professor emeritus at Princeton University, and I uh, started working on Gothic structure in the 60s. Uh, since the earthquake, uh, I consulted a former colleague of mine to see who might do some testing. He uh, said, well, we can do it at Columbia University. We have a laboratory where they can test uh, some of the new design. Our objective is to provide a new design that uh, will be able to resist future earthquakes even stronger than the one that occurred in uh, 2011. It's a collaborative work uh, and uh, credit has to be given to a lot of people, including of course people from the National Cathedral. Joe Alonso, the chief uh, stonemason of the cathedral, actually created the model that we're testing today. So the pinnacle is about eight foot four inches tall, weighs about 5,000 pounds, and it is an exact duplicate of the top part of the central tower pinnacles that fell off uh, during the earthquake. What you see here is the eight foot four inch long threaded rod. It's an inch and an eighth diameter threaded steel rod that's threaded into this bottom plate here. And then there's a big nut on the top and we tighten that nut up so this whole thing is being squeezed together it's under compression and it's one of the fixes that is being looked at uh, when the time comes to rebuild these pinnacles uh, so you're here at the Carlton laboratory at the uh, ANCO MTS shake table this is a multi-purpose shake table so it's uh, really built for a variety of payloads a variety of tests well the test lasts in this case a minute because the earthquake lasted a minute and what we will do is we'll excite the system with a peak ground acceleration of up to 0.34 g it is actually using the the earthquake that happened in Virginia as the baseline. My role is to do the sensor instrumentation and to measure the earthquake input as well as the structural response. And we can also see the things that the visual inspection cannot see. So it can give you a lot of uh, objective information. We are going to use the data to see if this um, pinnacle achieved the, the design, design performance. This is what happened in Moscow. <laughs> so the test is over. The test that they did today basically uh, had two magnitude shakes, uh, and in both cases, we saw no damage to the uh, pinnacle, which is terrific. So at the end of our tests, we've learned that the design that we proposed will withstand an earthquake of similar magnitude to what occurred in 2011, and we will be using that information to uh, assemble recommendations for a contractor as to how best to implement these repairs for the grand pinnacles on our central tower in the near future.